Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about light boxes inside the classic editor. If you don't know what light boxes are, they're basically pop-ups. They can either pop up on their own or they can even be triggered. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set them up. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're actually going to do to create a little light box or pop-up is we're gonna come over to add, we're gonna to go to interactive, and you're gonna see a section right here for light boxes. If we hover on these, you're gonna see there are a bunch of different options that we can choose from for light boxes. Some of them have subscribe forms in them, others are more basic. But for now, let's just go ahead and add a subscribe one real quick. Once we add it, this is what we are gonna see. We're gonna see kind of like a container with some content inside of it, and we're gonna see a bunch of empty space. Now, before I get into the content of it, let's go ahead and talk about the settings. If we press manage light box, oh, it's gonna open up the page panel, and here we can rename it if we want. However, if we go over to settings, we'll also be able to rename it here as well. Another thing that we can have in the settings is we can have it automatically display on the website or we can turn it off. If we leave this on, we can choose which pages this light box appears on and we can give it a delay. So let's say someone comes to the home page, and after two seconds, then this light box will appear when the user is on the home page. However, about 99% of people do not enjoy unsolicited pop-ups, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this as no. And now that the light box is not automatically being triggered when the user is on the website, now we actually need to set up a way for it to be triggered when the user does something. So we're gonna go ahead and press exit mode. And let's say we have a section down here where we want people to subscribe to our newsletter and they will get a 10% off next purchase or something like that. So here we just have a very simple button. And if we press this link button, you're gonna see one of the options we can link to is a light box. So if we select that and then we select the light box that we created and press done, then when the user clicks on the button, the light box will appear. This is definitely my preferred way to use light boxes because using light boxes as a normal pop-up can be quite annoying, especially if the user keeps going in between your different pages and the pop-up just keeps reappearing. So this is definitely my preferred way of using light boxes. But there are still more things about the light box that I would like to show, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it up again. If we go ahead and click the light box and press this little layout, we can have it on the left or we can have it on the right. And then also right here, there is design. So we can change the background color or we can make an image or even a video. Now, the cool thing is, is we can actually expand this out as much as we would want. However, if we go look at the website, you know, if we click on this section, we're gonna see these grid lines. These grid lines tell us that this is a safe area to put content inside of, and it will remain responsive. However, if we go back over to the light box, we're gonna notice we don't have those lines. And unfortunately, light boxes aren't really responsive. So just keep that in mind when you're building this out to not really expand it with too much content because it's still not gonna show on some screen sizes especially if they're on a smaller screen than what you're making the website on. But I'm just gonna bring this back down for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and press exit. Now, some light boxes, like this one right here, where it's in the center, if we go ahead and press layout, we're actually gonna get a position thing that looks more like this, where we can actually send it to the top left, the top, and just all the different corners of the page, and Let's say we wanna send it to the bottom right. We can actually control the offset a little bit like this. That way it's not completely hugging the corners. It's just gonna be kind of hovering off the corner a little bit like that. Some light boxes have this setting, but some light boxes like this, which is basically the whole right-hand side of the screen, is gonna look like that. And the last thing I do wanna show you is if we click the background area right here, we're gonna notice that there is some settings that we can apply to this. If we click settings, we can make sure that if someone clicks this overlay right here, 
then it closes the light box. Or we can turn that off if we don't want our users to be able to do that. If we select change overlay background, we can change the background to a different color, image, or video. My personal favorite thing to do is just lower the opacity a little bit. That way we still get the vibe that we're on the website still, and it's not a completely new page or anything, but we get the nice little designed light box over here on the side. Another way I really like to use light boxes is as a menu for the website. So if I go ahead and go to add light box or interactive light boxes, and we can just use this subscribe one right here again. And for this one, we can go ahead and maybe name this one menu. We're gonna make sure that automatically display is turned off. For this background, let's go ahead and lower the opacity just a little bit. That, that way the website's just peeking through. Over here in the light box itself, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of the elements inside of it. And I'm gonna come over here to add. We're gonna go down to menu, vertical menus, and we're just gonna drag something like this out. And then you can go ahead and design it however you see fit. So maybe we have something similar to this. And what we can do is go ahead and exit out of that real quick. We can go ahead and delete this horizontal menu in the header. We're gonna come over and add decorative. We're gonna go to basic shapes and select more basic shapes. And we're just gonna type in lines. And here we'll have a bunch of different hamburger menu icons to choose from. For now, I'm just gonna choose this one right here going to add it to the page but we're going to make it a little bit smaller we're going to add it to the header and then we're going to link this little icon to our menu light box that we just created so now if we go ahead and press preview here we're going to have a nice little icon and if the user selects it it's going to open up our little menu that we created but that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.